Did you know him? Shoof is turning 40. It's beer o'clock and from the Ardennes in Belgium and Brasserie de Shoof, we have a very special beer. This is the Shoof 40. Now, this year, um, I think it's towards the end of August, Shoof turns 40 years old. 40 years old they've been brewing. So, to celebrate, they've brought out this new Shoof 40. It comes in at 5.6% ABV and is a lot lighter than the, the standard Shoof, which is like 8.5% and some of the others in the range. Okay, so let's go a little bit about the history of, of, of the Shoof. Um, obviously famous for their gnomes, I do believe he's called Marcel the gnome. Um, they started off in 1982. Um, we've got Pierre Gobron and Chris um, Balwarate, Barrett. Um, it's a very hard name to pronounce. I think it's a Bowerat, um, Bower, Bower, Bowerat. That's what I think it is. So there we go. If I got it wrong, I pop my hands up. You know, I, I don't speak. I don't speak Flemish or out that way. They actually speak French to more than they out in the Ardennes. Um, they first brewed a 49 litre batch of a Le Chouf, um standard Le Chouf, um back in 1982, on the 27th of August, 1982, there we go. Um, come 1986, their little hobby had sort of um, escalated a little bit. Um, and that's when they sort of started off, you know, expanding. Um, in 1992, they were doing 5,000 hectolitres a year. Um, and it's just gone from strength to strength. Now, believe it or not, um, they sell their beers in 53 different in um, countries. There's 75 people that work at the brewery. There's nine different beers that they do. Um, so, you know, this is, this is quite popular. I've actually been to the brewery. I'm lucky enough to actually been to the brewery. Um... You know, it's really nice there, actually. It's it's quite an idyllic setting, right in the middle of the Ardennes, just north of Bastogne, if you're about that way. Okay. So, without further ado, let's crack open this Shoof 40 and give it a review. Obviously, you know, you've got the famous, famous Shoof glass. Um... I've actually had this on draft, believe it or not. But I waited till I went to Belgium to actually pick up a bottle. I could have got it in the UK, but UK prices are a rip off for this, I'm afraid to say, with their, with their over three quids a bottle. Um, especially when I went, I went to say, I went to see Philip at um, Beer on Web, and I think I paid just over a euro for this bottle. Um, my friend Philip knew I was coming over and uh, he kept me a couple of bottles back like he does. I'm trying to get this a real good perfect pour on this so you can see what it should look like. With that lovely head. Can we do it? We're getting there. I reckon that's one of the best shoofs I've ever poured and I think that's quite fitting for their 40th anniversary and birthday edition to actually pour one absolutely fantastic perfect 100% you could not get a better a better pour on a shoof than this 
So, first impressions. It's golden, slightly cloudy. We've got that beautiful four-finger white foam head. It looks so attractive. Let's get the aromas. Ah, oh, citrus and spicy. And one thing I'm really picking up here is sage. Very unusual. I know it's sage because I've got I've got a fresh pack of sage in, in, in the in the fridge. Citrus, spicy, coriander. A bit of pepper there, but it's, it's definitely sage there. So without question of doubt, let's let's um let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. It's very really light. It drinks like it's four percent, not five point six percent. Um, the alcohol is hidden very well in this beer. It's very light, very summery. Um, it's a bit of a sort of a thirst quenching type beer. It's a little bit lacking in like the flavour. It's got it there, the citrus notes, the, the, the spices, the sage, you know, but it's very, very weak is the actual um, the flavours of this beer you know don't expect a full bodied flavoursome beer because it's not um, it's oh, I'm trying to think because I've had I, they do another beer on the summary beer called a Solel and um, I've had that and reviewed it is it similar? Oh, I can't remember. This is definitely a very refreshing beer. Um, I don't think I'd have more than one. Um, I think when, when, when I had it in May, I just had the one glass and uh, then moved on to other stuff. You know, it's not something you'd want to drink glass and glass of, to be honest. Um, I think after three glasses you'd be, you'd be bored of it anyway. Um, it's light, it's refreshing. You know, this is a sort. This is a sort of beer you could you could you know on a hot day just put, you know sit sit at a calf um, or a bar and have a glass of this and then carry on with the rest of your day, whether it be your shopping or your you know um, going back to work or something like that. You know, this this is this is a, it's a light beer to have on a lunchtime on a hot day for a bit of refreshment um, and that's that's all it is to me you know I don't think I would even go out my way to sort of drink it in an evening you know uh, this is what this is what I, I sort of um, call it like a Belgian pit stop beer where perhaps you're driving somewhere and you just stop off I oh, fancy a beer you know and pull in and have a glass of this All in all, it's good. There's a little bit of maltiness there, not a lot. Um, but it's just a light beer. There's a little bit of a bitter aftertaste to it. Um, it's light, it's refreshing. On a hot day like it is in the UK today, you know, having this now is quite ideal actually. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I drink it again? Yes. Um, but you know, for me, I, it, it would, it would, I'd have to be specific to when I would drink this beer. Um, I wouldn't drink it for the sake of it. You know, it would, it would have to be a hot day, and I wanted something refreshing. You know, and that's the that's the honest opinion. So look. See if you can get yourself a bottle because there's plenty floating around. All right. Um, 
obviously if you want to pay UK prices for it I think you can get it on House of Trembling Madness and uh, I think there's a couple of other places that got it in stock um, I just wasn't going to pay three and a half quid or a bottle or whatever they're charging for it um, I just thought you know for 5.6 beer um, no I wasn't going to do it um, so I was lucky enough to get it in Belgium so look get yourself a bottle try it see what you think leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i release a new video and of course subscribe to the channel it's free and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.